Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be a response to one of the comments that was made on my video a day ago. And this video was called Anti-Jamming System Demo. Uh, so the comment that he or she made was, I want to detect automatically four types of frequency channels, which includes 433 megahertz, 868 megahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, and 5.8 gigahertz using HackRF. And how to do that? How do you achieve this particular task? So in order for me to achieve this particular task, uh, definitely you got to have your hack RF since the, the comment says he's using hack RF and make sure your hack RF is connected to your laptop. If you install properly GNU Radio Companion and I made a video on it for Mac as well for Windows is easy and for Mac as well is easy and for Linux Dragon OS Focal comes pre-compiled with this. Everything if if it works if it works uh, perfectly fine, then this is the steps that you need to do. Just simply type in on open up your terminal hack RF, hit tab, you will see different options hack RF clock, CPLD, info, and things like that. So when I click or when I write info, it will show you all right what version of hack RF that I'm using, what is the firmware version, and this is hack RF one and so on. Now the next tool that you need in order to perform this sweep is actually hack rf sweep uh, this is the tool that you need uh, so let me show you one more time just simply type in hack rf and sweep and just simply type in help it will show you how you can use this particular script you need to define uh, uh, what is the gain of your amplifier what frequency that you want to target which is minimum and maximum frequency it will give you and then you got to set your low noise amplifier gain or receiving gain antenna and then you got to have you have to set your bin width uh, how many what is the resolution that you want so I'll walk you through that script so in order for you to detect this automatically what do you need to do I have actually uh, copy this script let me copy this script and, and walk you through what that is so simply hit copy and now I will also leave the de description uh, uh, this script in the description as well simply paste this so now when you look at this this is what you're trying to do you're invoking a tool called hack RF sweep and you want to sweep the frequency from 430 megahertz all the way up to 435 megahertz you want to sweep the frequency uh, in terms of 865 to 870 then frequency 2400 2500 frequency 575 you got to give minimum and maximum frequency both then you got to put attack L this is the gain of your uh, low noise amplifier so this is the gain so let me choose this gain to be you can choose from uh, 0 to 40 dB I can choose this to let's say 26 dB and then this is the gain G is the gain for your VGA, which is variable gain amplifier, which is 20. You can have it from 0 to 62 dB. And this is W. Basically, what W is is actually a bin width. Uh, basically, the step size. So it's going to take a step size. So, for example, if it starts sweeping, if it starts giving you the frequency content and plus the power of this band so it's going to go to 430 then 431 432 433 434 435 and so on so you will get 100 of these uh, but this the smaller this number is going to be the slower it's going to be because it's going to take those individual uh, at an increment of one megahertz if you change this to 500 then it's going to be double then if you choose this to be like 100 then it's going to be quadruple and so on so you want to show make sure if you just want to see the working of the script you want to make sure this number is much smaller uh, so I'm going to change this to like five mega uh, five mega samples uh, five mega uh, step size of five megahertz and we want to save this as an output on a uh, call sweep underscore output dot txt file so I'm going to save this in a form of a txt file. So once I run this script, it's going to start sweeping this frequency. Now it's going to start looking for those frequencies. It will automatically start detecting those frequencies with respect to their power. And it's going to start performing this. And it's going to start populating this in a folder called sweep under underscore output dot txt in a file of in a form of a txt file. Once you have all of this data. Uh, you can always plot this data so just to give you an idea once you have all of the sweep running just control z it and and ls it sorry ls it and you will find a folder called sweep 
underscore output dot txt file now this file is in the form of a txt the next step that you want to do you want to convert that into a csv file so if you want to plot this data you can also plot this data as well in order for you to do that this is the command that you need let's copy this command i was actually testing it before so just simply paste this <coughs> so the command is saying is this cat sweep pick up this sweep underscore output.txt file and then assign these comma separated value and call it a new name sweep underscore output.csv. So basically it will convert that txt file into a CSV file using this particular command. Now when you hit enter, the command is already, uh, it has already converted it, ls it. Once you ls it, you will find a file called sweep underscore output.csv file. Once you have this file, all you can do you can use uh, Excel to open it so let me just show you uh, just simply go in and let me go to options and go to home and then you will find a file called CSV file so just double click on it open it up and here we go so you will always get this data so you will have your timestamp uh, you will have um, this is the starting frequency this is the uh, ending frequency starts sweeping at an increment of 435 then 440 445 435 440 and so on now and this is the power uh, of individual of these uh, uh, these frequency range you can now uh, look at this data you can select whatever the data that you want so it automatically start detecting it will go on at 400 band 400 uh, megahertz band and then 800 megahertz band and then 2400 megahertz band but 2400 megahertz band is sweeping from detecting it from 2400 all the way up to 2500 you will see like 20 different steps and then you can start plotting it with respect to um, high frequency uh, uh, low frequency to high frequency and what is the respective power uh, to that particular frequency so this is how I think what I understood from your comment is basically this. Uh, so, so this is how I would do it. Then I will probably write a, a script for it and then try to plot this as well. And based on their power versus their frequency. So this is my approach of, of doing it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, just leave it in a comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. But I will also leave both the script and everything underneath this and then i will also leave a link to how to install GNU radio and things like that as well so thank you very much and have a good day